UNESCO प्रधन कारेलेंलो नरेंट्र मोडी माटलर्थु नरो लाइव चुदा Serves our cause more than this one The seeds of our collective destiny are sown in human minds It is nurtured by the light of education and the spirit of inquiry it makes progress through the marvels of science and it draws strength from the basic character of nature that harmony and unity in diversity that is why UNESCO was among the first missions of the United Nations. That is why India values the work of UNESCO so deeply and cherishes our partnership so immensely. I am conscious of the extraordinary legacy of our relationship from the times of UNESCO's birth. I recall Mahatma Gandhi's message to UNESCO calling for an urgent action to address the needs of education to secure lasting peace. And the leadership of Dr. Radha Krishna later became our president in the yearly of this institution. We are grateful for UNESCO's support for education and science in India and for preservation of our cultural heritage. Equally, we are privileged to have worked with UNESCO in support of its mission around the world. For in the challenges India faces and the dreams that Indians seek, our approach mirrors the ideals of UNESCO. We have built a modern state in an ancient land with timeless tradition of openness and coexistence and as a society of extraordinary diversity. The foundation of our constitution rests on a fundamental principles, the peace and the prosperity of all is indivisible for the welfare of the individual, the strength of the nation is determined by the joint hands of every citizen and real progress is measured through empowerment of the weakest. This has been our creed since we assumed office nearly a year ago. And we shall urge for our progress not just by the cold statistics of growth but by the warm glow of belief and hope on human faces. For me, it means many things. We will defend and protect the right and liberty of every citizen. We will ensure that every citizen of every faith, culture and creed has an equal place in our society, belief in her future and the confidence to pursue. Education always had a special place in our tradition. As our ancient sayings, it is Vaye Krute Bharatati Eva Nityam Vidya Dhanam Sarva Pradhanam The wealth that increases by giving the wealth is knowledge and is supreme of all positions. We have launched the most ambitious program to provide skills to our youth and education for every child in the remotest villages. Our progress will remain in mirage unless women no longer suffer from daily fear or barriers to opportunity and when they are no longer victims of exclusion and prejudice. And this change must begin with the girl child. 
so the program to educate and support the girl child in india is one that is closest to my heart we will ensure that they can go to school and also that they can attend in safety and dignity today the digital age has created opportunities beyond imagination but digital divide can expand disparities on the other hand digital connectivity and smartphone have created a revolution of possibilities to educate deliver service and extend development this is the most exciting change in our era our digital india will create a participative transparent and a responsive government connected to the citizens and we have launched a digital literacy mission to connect each of our 600000 villages the link between habit and fulfillment of human potential is deep and strong so the highest priority for my government is to provide a roof over every head power in every house sanitation and clean water within every one's reach a hope for every child to survive and a chance to every new mother to love her child it also means clean rivers air that we can breathe and forest filled with the sound of birds to achieve these goals we need not just policies and resources but even more the power of science for us science is driven by the larger purpose of human development and for a safe sustainable prosperous future for india science also unites people across borders in shared purpose and when we share the its fruits with those who do not have it we connect lives and make our world a better place india never forgets the help we have received in our early year today we are fulfilling our responsibility to others therefore science is a key priority of india's international engagement culture is a sublime expression of people and the foundation of a society unesco has initiatives to preserve the world's cultural heritage including in india are inspiring we see india's rich and diverse cultural heritage as humanity's wealth and we will do everything to preserve it for future generations we have launched heritage development and augmentation yojana hriday or heart in hindi to preserve the cultural heritage of our cities we have started a special scheme called prasad are offering pilgrimage rejuvenation and spirituality augmentation drive for rejuvenation of our pilgrimage centers madam chairman i speak of our vision and initiatives because in our own aspirations and efforts we see the value of unesco to our world with great clarity in the challenges of our times we see its purpose technology education science vision lo unesco bharat rendu duradrushto unnayi antunnaru pradhani narendra modi ivudu ka live chusam ipudu ka show bettisukuntam